things I would like to note before we hop in. One, thank you guys so much for the support on YouTube. I, I When I first started doing this, I was just doing it for fun. I was working two full-time jobs. I did not in a million years think that I would be doing this for a living. 100,000, so there's 100,000 people that have pressed that red button. Are you kidding me? It's crazy. Thank you guys so much for the support, not only on YouTube, but also on Twitch. Over the weekend, we did a charity stream. We raised over $4,000 for pancreatic cancer research. Uh, that That's not possible at all without you guys, so I can't thank you enough. And I wanna give a shout out to the Keep Smiling Foundation for teaming up with me on that live stream. Make sure you go follow them on Instagram. They're doing big things for pancreatic cancer. They're a nonprofit organization. They do a lot of stuff around baseball. They work with a lot of individual players in Major League Baseball. So go shoot them a follow on Instagram. They're doing big things and helping out a lot of people. Second, this is gonna be a completely transparent studio tour. That means I did not clean this thing head to toe to make it look all pretty for you guys. What you see is what you get. This is what my studio looks like every single day when I walk in here. Now granted, I'm a very cleanly person to begin with. I'm a very tidy person to begin with, so it's not dirty in here by any means. But when it comes to like cable management and stuff like that, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not 100%. So if bad wiring triggers you, I suggest you just turn this video off right now. I make sure I have no fire hazards and from there we move on and I don't stress myself out about it. So I've talked about this on YouTube and Twitch quite a few times, but my studio is actually a two car garage. I have a one car garage attached to the front of my house and we have a two car garage in the back. This garage was built by the previous owners of the home they were big in the four wheelers and dirt bikes and they used it as a storage unit for their for their bikes and their four wheelers and it was kind of like just an auto shop back here for them but it was bare i'm talking concrete floor studs on the walls there was no drywall no ceiling no floor like no nothing it was just concrete floor studs on the wall it was a shed it was a bare naked garage shed and we put a lot of money into renovating this thing and it took me months. I, I built this up, me and my father-in-law did this with our bare hands. So I'm very proud of it. It's not completely done. As a matter of fact, the first thing I wanna show you guys is that it's not entirely finished. So like, as you can see, I still have to put like quarter round on the edges of the floors. So that part of it's actually still unfinished, but it's also not something that's like, that. it's not that big of a deal. So I'm not like in a super rush to do that, especially now that we're quarantined, I kinda can't go out. And I'm not stressing about getting the little details done here until, you know, everyday life is back to normal. So my tech stuff, my streaming setup, my YouTube setup, that will all be last. I'll talk about that last because I gotta be, be honest with y'all. It's, there's a lot going on with my tech stuff. So around the room that's not my tech stuff, first and foremost, to the left of my desk, I have another, I actually have three desks sitting here. This is three desks. These desks used to be my old YouTube setup. These desks are what I used for my old YouTube setup. Now, this is where I keep my PlayStation, my Xbox, all of my equipment, my cameras, my drone, my mic box. I got my router right there that's ran through the uh, the back of the garage. I got my printer, a couple pictures of my beautiful wife. Oh my gosh, look at Ashley. Stud. Then I got my coffee set up, which by the way, that's how I have coffee every day on stream. And then to the left of my coffee, I usually fill this up with water because I need water for the coffee maker. Um, I keep my little granola bars here, my Nutri-Grain bars that I, I eat from time to time, just in case I'm snacking out here and I'm really busy. My Easton glove right here. I get a lot of questions about this. This is actually the backdrop of my stream. There's a reason that stuff is on the floor is because you can see it in my live stream. This is a big, big gigantic picture frame with a bunch of little picture frames in it. So basically there's a picture frame for every field in Major League Baseball. And me and Ashley are gonna take Roman to every stadium. As you can see, we went to Tropicana Field last year. Me and Ashley are gonna take Roman to every field. We're gonna take a nice little family picture and we're gonna fill this thing up. And yeah, that's gonna take some time, but I'm really excited about it. I think that's a really cool backdrop for my live streams. Got some MLB The Show stuff right here. And then here's my bobblehead stand. Directly behind that, I got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff down here. You know, my fantasy baseball bobbleheads. Those are for winning a couple championships. Shout out to me. We got Dugout from the Little League World Series. Of course, my guy Goku. I'm a big Dragon Ball Z guy. We got Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso bobbleheads there. I got Aaron Judge and Javi Baez in the back. That uh, Wilt Chamberlain, that's actually a piece of the floor from the night Wilt Chamberlain scored 100 points. It's pretty cool. I got some pins from the World Series. I went to the Astros Nationals World Series games. Uh, then I got my Eagle Shelf, Go Birds, 
Got a Carson Wentz autograph rookie card right there. That's my guy. You can say what you want about Carson Wentz. He's an awesome dude. He's going to have put millions of dollars into his communities by the time his career's over. I love that about him. Next stage up, we got my Phillies. Oh yeah. Pretty cool stuff, right? And I got some autographed baseballs in the back. That autographed baseball right there is actually Ken Griffey Jr. with the Certificate of Authenticity. Ashley got me that uh, years ago. I've got some pretty cool stuff. That's a Tampa Bay Rays picture frame. There's the same picture that was on the wall, or the, the picture frame, I mean. There's a bigger version of that picture in there, and an all-star game picture. That is their certificate of Roman's first baseball game at Nationals Park, and it was World Series game five. That was pretty cool. Then I got another Philly shelf up here. Got a couple more Phillies bobbleheads, along with a picture from Coach himself. And uh, that is the first ever media badge I ever had with the Philadelphia Phillies, which is pretty cool. Oh, that was really cool. And then on my top shelf, I got my Flyers and Sixers, which I don't have a ton of bobbleheads for either of those two teams. I do got this really cool Joel Embiid one though. And of course, as you can see, the backdrop for those is a bunch of autographed Flyers pucks. And then to the left is really just the most naked part of the room. This is just a corner. Ashley got me uh, balloons that say 100K. They popped into the live stream the other day when we hit 100K. They had balloons and everything for me. Ashley's amazing. <laughs> She's awesome for that. There's my camera bag. A couple more signs I haven't hung up yet. Big Nike sign on the wall. We got a Ryan Howard autograph picture here. Uh, we got a picture of Citizens Bank Park when they had the Winter Classic when the Flyers played the Rangers in Citizens Bank Park. And I actually really like this picture because the stadium's color and everything around it is actually black and white. I really like the way that they did that. It's really cool. And then in the middle of my room, here is my chill back and relax area. I got my two seat recliner here. My green screen is hidden underneath there in case I ever want to use it on my setup. So I got my two piece recliner here. All of my remotes and whatnot are in there. I got my, my desk or my table here. This is actually where I do all my baseball card unboxing videos. I got a lot of baseball cards to go through as you can see. Got my binders underneath. Got my boxes with my autographs and my relics in there. And then you're probably wondering, there's your television and there's me. Hi. That is not a normal entertainment stand. That's actually an Ikea dresser. So what I did was I bought an Ikea dresser and I drilled holes in the back of it to run wiring through. So I just thought this was more like space, like it gives me more to work with using an actual dresser. So in here I have a bunch of my throwback video games. We have my N64, a lot of my Xbox 360 games. These are all my N64 games right here. So all my classics. That's really cool. I can fire up the N64 on this TV, which is a lot of fun. And in this drawer, it's usually where I keep my baseball card stuff, but like I said, I'm going through a lot of it right now, so it's out on the desk. So that stuff usually sits in here. And then in my bottom shelf, just have some more, uh, again, I put more baseball card stuff. These two drawers are all about my baseball card stuff, which are currently empty because I'm going through them. And then over on this side, we have my Xbox One, my PS4, and more Xbox 360 games. Hanging out in there. Then one drawer up from that. We got some Blu-rays, some more soundproofing that I never use. And this, I'm still trying to figure out where I want to put this. Ashley got me a shelfy sign for Christmas. It's really dope, it, it, it lights up LED. I used to have it over there on that wall, but the problem is the LED is so bright that you can't even see it in the background of my streams. I wanted it to be in the backdrop of my streams, but the light is so bright that when I turn it on, it just looks like one big ball of light, you can't tell that it says shelfy. So I'm still trying to figure out where I wanna put that. I might put it up next to the TV back here or something. And then top drawer, I got my GameCube, my Xbox uh, One, and again, have a hole in the back of that drawer running the wires out. So the only wire that you can see visible are the wires running up to the television. And I'm gonna paint this black so that it blends in, but I haven't done that yet. So there's my television and my setup. So this is me chilling on the recliner. So whenever I'm not working, I'm usually just sitting right here watching Ozarks or something. And then over here in the corner, I got my baseball, my catcher's gear, which I throw on on stream. You guys know what I'm talking about. This is my Aero Launch Nike bat. I used this in, in high school. Still got the old pine tar on it from high school. This is before BB Corp was a thing. I'm an old head. I got the wood stick that I, the two wood sticks that I swing in BP from time to time. Uh, my ADV 360 that Easton sent me home with when I had that Easton event. And then I have a couple display bats up on the wall. This was a really cool bat that they sent me from Easton. Easton Experience 2019, really nice black and white bag. 
And then uh, as you guys know, I do those home run derby VR events. So I do some hosting with Major League Baseball, me and Fuzzy co-host, and then we always get sent home with these bats for every one of those events that are really, really cool. This one's actually from the Japan All-Star Series, and I swung this one in the Tokyo Dome, which was really cool. Home Run Derby Challenge, 2018 Tokyo, and then we have the 2018 All-Star Game. This one's from DC, this one's from Japan, this one's from Cleveland, and this one is from Easton, and I'm planning on hanging up more of those as the time goes on, and then I just have a Flyers hockey stick right here and above all of that is a Bobby Clark autographed picture that Ashley got me a long time ago. And last but not least, we have the love sack. That's right, I have a love sack back here because sometimes you just wanna plop onto this thing and relax. And of course, Panda Head is chilling on the love sacks. You guys know all about Panda Head. If I get frustrated playing MLB The Show, I just throw that on. It's relaxing. We get Angry Panda on the Twitch stream. It's a lot of fun. And then I also, right over here in the corner, Ashley actually likes to come in here and take a lot of pictures. That's why I have a mirror in here. Heller! But uh, I also have a rolling rack with a bunch of jerseys on it because sometimes I like to mix it up on stream and throw on something different. So I got a little jersey rolling rack next to the mirror where Ashley takes pictures. Now, let's get into the fun stuff. Now one thing, again, I'm gonna say this very clearly. I clean up my cabling probably about once a week. I try and clean it up as best as I can. But I'm constantly moving these monitors around. These are movable on the wall. I'm constantly moving them around. So I need to have some type of pull. I gotta give myself some lead way with the cable so that I can move them around without yanking anything. I'm also constantly moving them around so they naturally just kind of shape and shift. So my cables are all over the place, but I promise you, fire hazards are taken care of. It's not that bad. It's just, you know, it's organized madness is what it is. But I got the triple monitor set up here. Up there is my surveillance camera. That's where I watch my surveillance footage because my house is monitored 24 seven. So I got a security camera up there. I also have dogs and all kinds of other stuff. So the family is well protected here, I promise you. We got the triple monitor set up, security camera, and then over here, that is the camera I use to record my face cam and my live stream face cam on Twitch. I got my key light up top, which is usually turned around facing me. And that's pretty much it. I got my keyboard here, my lovely Corsair keyboard, my Bladehawks keypad, uh, keypad. Got my stream deck, which has my mic right on top of it, right there my Astro A40 headphones and mixer, which this is my favorite piece of equipment that I have in my streaming setup. I would, I would be nothing without it. I got two remotes here. These control the lights in my office. I can also change the colors of the lights in my office. And this is my heating and AC, which controls that bad boy up there on the ceiling. So I'm just rocking out with three BenQ monitors. This one being the gaming monitor that I play on, 26 inches in size, if that would focus. There we go. Gotta give that a wipe down as well. I also keep my Blue Yeti mic right back there and plugged in in case I'm ever having issues with this mic. I can just pop that one up over the monitors and turn it on and I have a backup mic ready for stream so that we don't run into any technical difficulties. My camera is a Panasonic G7 uh, Lumix. I got the, uh, the industrial mic on top of that as well, of course. So that's running through an Elgato cam link which plugs into my computer which is underneath the desk this is a digital storm very nice digital storm computer not going to go through all the specs on this thing but that's my baby there underneath and this is pretty much just my setup man got the focus right mixer which is all i really need and i'm golden man this is where we stream every day this is where we record our youtube videos i really like my backdrop that i currently have this is pretty much what you guys see this is what the backdrop of the videos look like, right? With me in the middle of it. It's pretty cool, right? It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. So I'm actually very proud of this studio, guys. It took months to put this entire thing together. I'm talking on my hands and knees, screwdrivers, hammers, and nails. I took carpentry in high school. Um, I'm more than a gamer. I know a lot of people, well, you live in your mom's basement. No, I actually built this beautiful place that uh, I work in every single day. So I'm proud of that. And I can't thank my stepdad enough for, my, my stepdad, my 
father-in-law enough for helping me out with everything. It's been awesome. And yeah, that's pretty much the studio tour, guys. If you guys enjoyed, hit that thumbs up down below. Thanks again for 100,000 subscribers. I'm gonna be live on Twitch every day this week, Tuesday through Saturday. So come hang out. The link's in the description. It's twitch.tv slash You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at RealShelfie and hit that subscribe button down below if you are new. Again, I'm probably gonna go through my cables here again because now I'm a little bit triggered. I probably should have cleaned it up at least a little bit before the video. But like I said, I want to be transparent with you guys. A lot of people, they do their setup videos. They make everything look so perfect as soon as the video goes. And then they don't mess with their cables or clean their room for an entire month. And they're actually very unorganized, nasty rats that just tried to look pretty for you guys on camera. So I'm being as transparent as I can. Uh, cables are not perfect here on any given day. I do clean them every couple of days, so I try and organize it as best I can, but you know, with constantly moving things around and moving my monitors and plugging things in and out and changing equipment, it's impossible to keep things 100% clean all the time. I do have racks underneath here that organize my cables as best as I can. So it's not all entirely just thrown around, but you now it's nearly impossible from like these cables that hang out from under the TV. It's almost impossible to have these cleaned up 24 seven. It's just, it's unrealistic of me to, you know, organize those and act like it looks all pretty 24 seven because it just does. It's just the reality of the situation. Cables suck. That's just what it is what it is. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this studio tour. I'm proud of this place. I thought you, I hope you think it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool place. I still got some little fine touches I gotta put on here. And honestly, the garage door may go. I may be blowing that out and just making a flat wall over there at some point. But again, stuff to do after quarantine. Currently, it's just a big garage door that's on lockdown, shut and locked 24 seven. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace. Look at him. Roman Robinson. Look at yeah, me, so cute. He's got a little Mickey Mouse shirt on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He likes me. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, oh, no. I, I don't use this shirt. It's my favorite shirt, actually. That's why I wore it. <laughs> <laughs> you get two chocolate chip cookies.